Um, no, I don't wear perfume anymore, but uh, um, April Violets. It's a cologne. Eva Marie Saint is an American actress. In a career spanning over 75 years, she is best known for appearing in Aaliyah Kazan's On the Waterfront and Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest. Her first film earned her an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. After Olivia de Havilland died in 2020, she became the oldest Oscar winner and one of the last living stars of Hollywood's golden age. She received a Golden Globe and a BAFTA Award for A Hatful of Rain and won a Primetime Emmy Award for the TV series People Like Us. Her film career also includes roles in Rain Tree County, Exodus, The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming, Grand Prix, Nothing in Common, Because of Win Dixie, Superman Returns, and Winter's Tale. I grab a book and sit down even if I've read it before, and just read something to clear my mind and to relax. Hello everyone, welcome back to Net Worth Now, where you get to see the lifestyle and net worth of your favorite celebrities. We hope you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below who your favorite celebrity is so we can feature them in an upcoming video. Her full name is Eva Marie Saint, also known as Eva Saint. She was born on July 4, 1924, in Newark, New Jersey, United States, making her 97 years old at the time of this production. She stands at 5 feet 3 inches, or 163 centimeters tall. Amazingly, acting was not Saint's original ambition. The young, compassionate girl originally wanted to be a teacher. She was actually in the middle of majoring in education when a drama professor asked her to try out for a play. She got the role and loved the experience so much that she decided to change her major to drama. The rest, as they say, is history. One of Saint's biggest, earliest acting challenges was making herself cry in a scene. The combination of being shy in crowds and coming from a large family where members didn't cry in front of one another made emotional intimacy an enormous, intimidating barrier for her. When she finally got it, not only did Saint cry, but her peers were crying too. Saint married producer and director Jeffrey Hayden on October 28, 1951. They had two children together, son Daryl Hayden and daughter Lorette Hayden. Their first child, Daryl, was born two days after she won the Academy Award for On the Waterfront. They were married for 65 years until Hayden's death on December 24, 2016, at the age of 90. For the back half of the 1950s, Eva Marie Saint was the name on everybody's lips. But many wonder why she didn't become even more famous after. It was her own heartbreaking choice. She turned down many movie roles in order to put her family first. When her frantic agent warned her sternly that she'd never be a superstar if she didn't work more, she merely replied, I guess I don't want to be a superstar. How often do you wear blue jeans? Uh, I used to wear them once in a while. Uh, it's not my favorite pant, but... Um... Saint was born in Newark, New Jersey to Quaker parents Eva Marie and John Merrill Saint. She attended Bethlehem Central High School in Del Mar, New York, near Albany, graduating in 1942. She was inducted into the High School's Hall of Fame in 2006. She studied acting at Bowling Green State University and joined Delta Gamma Sorority. During this time, she played the lead role in a production of Personal Appearance. A theater on Bowling Green's campus is named after her. She was an active member of the honorary theater fraternity Theta Alpha Phi and served as record keeper of the Student Council in 1944. Saint began acting when she was a student at Bowling Green State University. She started her career as a radio actress in New York City. And in 1948, she began taking classes at the Actors Studio. From 1949, she appeared regularly on such television shows as Actors Studio and the Prudential Family Playhouse. Saint won notice for her performance in a 1953 televised production of Horton Hoot's play, The Trip to Bountiful, starring Lillian Gish and she appeared on Broadway in the same role in 1953. Saint was cast in the role of Edie Doyle, the convent-educated sister of a murdered dock worker, 
and the protagonist's love interest, played by Marlon Brando, in her debut film, On the Waterfront. Her moving portrayal earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Saint was also nominated for an Academy Award for her performance in the televised play, The Middle of the Night, by Patty Shayefsky, part of the Philco Goodyear Television Playhouse series, and she received a second Emmy nomination for her portrayal as Emily in the televised musical version of Thornton Wilder's Our Town on Producer Showcase that also featured Paul Newman and Frank Sinatra. In addition, Saint co-starred with Bob Hope in the movie That Certain Feeling and was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for her performance in the dramatic film A Hatful of Rain. Alfred Hitchcock cast Saint against type in what was perhaps her most memorable role, a coolly competent spy who falls in love with the protagonist, played by Cary Grant in North by Northwest in 1959. Her most notable subsequent movies included Otto Preminger's Exodus in 1960, Vincent Minnelli's The Sandpiper in 1965, the Cold War comedy The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming in 1966, and the racing film Grand Prix in 1966, in which she co-starred with James Garner. Saint appeared most frequently in television movies. She played Edith Wilson in the TV movie The First Woman President in 1974, and earned an Emmy Award nomination for Taxi. In 1978, a two-hander in which she co-starred with Martin Sheen. She played a murder victim's mother in the miniseries Fatal Vision in 1984, and she had a reoccurring role as the mother of the character played by Sybil Shepherd in the series Moonlighting that ran from 1985 to 1989. Saint won an Emmy Award for her performance in the miniseries People Like Us in 1990. She appeared in several films in the 21st century, including I Dreamed of Africa in 2000, because of Win Dixie in 2005, Superman Returns in 2006, and Winter's Tale in 2014, and she voiced a character in an animated TV series, The Legend of Korra. In September 2012, she was cast as an adult version of Willa in the film adaptation of the novel Winter's Tale by Mark Halperin. The film was released on Valentine's Day 2014. Most recently, at the age of 93, Saint appeared at the 2018 Academy Awards ceremonies to present the award for costume design. She received a standing ovation upon entering the stage. She has two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for motion pictures at 6624 Hollywood Boulevard and one for television at 6730 Hollywood Boulevard. And we were married 65 years and he died two years ago. That was my lucky break in life. She makes around $2 million from her days of acting and being a star. Eva Marie, who brought in $3 million and $5 million net worth, Eva Marie collected most of her earnings from her Yeezy sneakers. While she had exaggerated over the years about the size of her business, the money she pulled in from her profession was real enough to rank as one of the biggest celebrity cash outs of all time. Her basic income source is mostly from being a successful actor. As of 2021, she's estimated to be worth $20 million. Eva has a house in New York. She currently lives in her duplex condo in West Los Angeles. Previously, Eva and her husband lived in a mansion in Mandeville Canyon. In her garage, you're likely to find a Jaguar XKE. a Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, a Pontiac GTO, a Range Rover Sport, Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Ferrari F430 Spider, a Bugatti Veyron, and a BMW 7 Series.